Time to round up a big topic from the week. The HISD teacher accused of making controversial comments on a cable television show will remain in the classroom. Angela Box teaches third grade at Daly Elementary School. Many parents have expressed their concerns about Box's comments on the cable show Tommy's Garage. Box called Muslims bacon haters and claims she wears the Mexican flag as a thong. The third grade teacher says she's just exercising her right of free speech on private time. Angela Box has sparked the debate about whether teachers should be held accountable in their private lives. And this is our topic this half hour. We want to hear from you on our Fox 26 Facebook page. You can also weigh in on Twitter. Use the hashtag Fox 26 for life. Joining us live in the newsroom is our panel led by our Fox 26 legal analyst Chris Tridico. All right, Chris. So Ms. Box to other stations uh, said that these comments were taken out of context, specifically the comment about being a bacon hater. She also says that if school districts want to look into teachers private lives they're going down a slippery slope what do you say well uh, first I don't know how you can take a the comment bacon hater out of context <laughs> it, it either it either is a bad statement or, or I don't know how, I don't know how it can be another statement with respect to looking into her private life here here's the issue in my view and I've said this for years first I guess full disclosure I represent the Houston Federation of Teachers and I'm their general counsel and represent teachers in matters such as this all the time uh, when you exercise your right to free speech, which she absolutely has the right to do. Your employer does not have to agree with your statements. And your employer could say, whether it's a public or private employer, I appreciate your right to exercising your free speech right. I don't like your comments, and so therefore you don't get to work for me anymore. And now you can go out and say whatever you want to anybody you want and exercise your right to free speech. As a public employee, then she has protections under the 14th Amendment's due process clause that before they fire her, she gets a hearing. HISD made a decision, I think rightfully at the moment at least, not to do anything and let her remain in the classroom. We'll see what happens if she continues to make these comments. Let me introduce our panel, uh, Jerry Bernberg, former Democratic Party uh, chairperson, Jared Woodfield, former Republican Party chairperson. Jared, I'll start with you. The comments, uh, you would have to agree, were, were pretty difficult uh, to watch. And I think the concern here for everybody who, who hears this story or watches it is the slippery slope that we may be walking down. Now, when do we draw the line on when the speech police can come in and say, I don't like what you're saying today, Chris, or Jerry, you said that, and that candidate we don't agree with because our administration supports can the other candidate. So I think we have to be very, very sensitive to walking down or falling down this slippery slope because it really will result in, in First Amendment freedoms being infringed. Can upon. the comments of an employee reflect poorly on the employer? Well, they can, but can you fire someone for that? I don't believe you can. I think you have to be very sensitive to whether or not you can go into someone's personal life and start searching for issues or comments or statements or actions that you don't agree with. So what are we going to open up? This big door where I can go look at your Facebook post, go follow you around and see what you're saying and doing, and if I don't like it, we're going to fire you. I don't think that's a slope that we want to be on. How about that, Jerry? I mean, it, it, there are there is Supreme Court uh, uh, cases that would say, yeah. as a public employee, we can take this action. Uh, yeah, first of all, let's make it real clear so our, our viewers <coughs> don't get mixed up about this. What we're saying only relates to a government employee, whether it's a, a school employee or any other government employee. In point of fact, a private employer can fire any employee anytime, and you don't have a First Amendment right. Uh, the, the, if the private employer had heard these remarks, they could fire the lady it's, it's, tomorrow, yeah. and that's the end of the like story. I, said, I don't it's like different. what you said. You're fired. Now, now go right. say whatever yeah. you want. Right. So, right. however, where we're talking about the government doing it, we're entering into a different legal reign. Uh, there, a uh, government employer can fire an employee absolutely without any, any questions for anything that the employee said in the course of discharging the official duties of the employer. If the employee had said something uh, in, the co in the classroom, for right, example, right. she can be fired in the story and doesn't. Still gets a hearing. Well, maybe. That, that, in but, Texas you do. Yes, Close exactly, but, yeah. but not as a matter of federal law. Now, in connection with uh, a pri the firing of a public employee for something they say outside the, score, uh, the course of their employment, the Supreme Court has long had a test. The test basically is a balancing test there. Uh, and the balancing test comes down to whether what you said was detrimental to your ability to perform your function. Can you still be effective in the classroom based on your comment? Correct. And my that, personal that, view that, is, and I agree with Jared on this, by the way, my personal view is we ought to give the, the First Amendment as much breathing room absolutely. as possible. Which is what yeah. HISD did 
in this case. Right. And then, let me go to Sally. She's monitoring our social media. Okay, let's check in on Twitter, folks. First, we want to show you Angela Box's latest tweet. She says, fellow patriots, thank you for standing with me. There's no backing down now. Full steam ahead. She even has her own hashtag now that folks are using. I stand with Box. Sean says, she has the right to free speech, but if I had a kid, I wouldn't want her to be their teacher. And that Sean's tweet is the issue here because the Commissioner of Education in Texas has ruled multiple times in line with the uh, cases that Jerry's talking about, Jerry Bermer is talking about, is that you, your public comments, your public exposure may prevent you from being effective in the classroom because of the distraction that you cause. And that could be the issue. We're going to have to wrap it right there. I'm sorry, we're out of time. She's going to be real yeah. upset when she finds a Democrat supported her, though. <laughs> We're going to leave it right there. We'll be back in the next hour, Sally, with two really good topics. All right. We'll see you then, guys. Thanks so much.